Alright folks, welcome back. We are nearing the end of our tutorial series. You're at least targeted at new-ish players. And so I wanted to wrap this up by talking about flush houses again. Last time we said, you know, one of the benefits of the flush house hand is the base scoring is so high you can get away with playing only the one scoring hand. And we said, you know, looking at the planet cards, comparing straights and flush houses, the straights planet scaling is already very powerful. You can win uh, without any jokers with just straights. And the uh, flush house having slightly higher planet scaling and higher base, so theoretically even higher scoring potential makes it, you know, maybe even easier to beat the final boss and so you know if that's the challenge if that's the struggle with flushes and straights maybe sometimes you don't have enough scoring to beat the final boss the flush house is meant to remedy that uh, it's easier for us to get the points that we need to beat the final boss the question is okay can we build the flush house hand consistently enough and i was hoping in the last demonstration that we saw uh, it was easy enough easy enough to play two flush houses uh, maybe even possible to play three flush houses on the final boss but like I said we didn't get that many uh, planet cards for the series card in the last video we only got two which is a little bit unlucky a little bit on the low end and it didn't feel right uh, going out like that to really demonstrate why flush houses are so powerful and therefore consistent, uh, consistent at winning. Uh, you want to see what does it look like with four or five planet cards is about what it takes. And which is just a few more than two. You don't need that much more, but a little bit more would be nice. One planet card uh, last time would have made the difference between playing two hands on the final boss versus playing three hands on the final boss. So let's try to make flush houses work one last time, looking for more series card this time. All right, on the opening round here, we want to look for a full house because we know that's going to win in one. Going into the first shop here, we're offered Scholar and Droll Joker. Between these, Scholar, very powerful, uh, giving you molt and chips, allowing you to uh, win with just one hand, with even, uh, you know, just a pair of aces would probably be enough to beat the boss of this round, for example. Uh, probably best to take the Scholar, probably best to take both, actually. Uh, let's play, you know, a little bit less conservatively here. Let's just pick up the Droll Joker. Uh, the Scholar is better, and so I want to show what do we do when we get less good. Alright, the Droll Joker, maybe we want to go for flushes uh, with spades, looks like, or diamonds would have worked there. Turns out we would have gotten the diamonds, but that's okay, we can still get the spades. Or maybe we can't get the spades. Uh, as long as I get spades i'll be able to win in two which is not that different from winning in one all right we're offered the dna here dna helpful if you want to make uh, five of a kind if you want to make more copies of just one card uh, useful also for flush houses you know because you want to have three of a kind in a pair and so you can use it alternating, make a mix of different cards. Uh, I'm not going to take it. It's, it, call, or it makes for kind of a weird run. You're using some of your hands to make copies with the DNA. Uh, I think it is not the most powerful joker. It is a rare joker, so it is a good enough joker. Uh, I wouldn't fault you if you took it here, but for our demonstration of what an average flush house run looks like in an average run you're not going to get the rare joker 
What we're gonna do instead, let's see here, we have enough scoring, we can beat the boss. So actually we're good here, we'll just save our money. Uh, I could go for spades or clubs. Maybe we'll do clubs this time. That's gonna do it. Eight hundred points. That should be enough to one shot the next round as well. Twenty-three dollars here. Offered superposition for generating value, or we could take the ice cream here uh, for the scoring. I'm gonna go ahead and take both. I want to have uh, a, you know at least one kind of income generating joker, and so we'll do that with the superposition. Now let's see, we've got the fours, so let's look for, we've got extra on the fours, extra ace, another four. All right, hoping to get a three. It took us two extra hands to get here, but we did get here. And so, you know, that's the same as spending $2 on whatever the superposition is gonna give us. And with the help of the ice cream here, we have no problem making the score that we need. World card, there we go, that's it. That is what we need to make our flush house. Uh, we'll pick up the golden joker for additional income here. And let's try to make a flush house happen. Now that I've got the Golden Joker, now that I know that uh, I'm good on scoring, and I'm sorry, I've got Ice Cream and Droll, so I'm good on scoring. Uh, golden Joker means I'm good on income. Now I don't feel as much pressure. I'm actually gonna sell this superposition. You can keep it around, you can try to squeeze some more value out of it, but I'm gonna show you, you know, a more average looking run. What am I trying to do with this world card? Okay, I'm, if I'm trying to make a flush house, I need three and two, and I need two of them to already be spades. And so in my, let's see here, tens and sevens, two of them already spades. All I need is any other 10 or any other seven. And then I can complete my flush house with just the one suit changer. All right, we didn't get the full house yet. Quick peek at the deck to just, you know, make sure that they're still in there. And here we go, pair of sevens and a 10, giving us the flush house. The earlier we make our flush house, the earlier we unlock the series cards and then we can start picking them up and so now for example if I open up this priestess there's a series card and we'll go ahead and since I have the golden joker and I have the egg here I'm very well on income so I feel fine spending a little extra money think of it this way you know if each series card is worth you know, maybe 50% stronger than a Saturn planet card, then it's worth it to spend 50% more money. Oops, that's okay, we'll be fine. All right, let's see here. Uh, what did we say? We've got sevens and tens if I wanna go for the flush house, but I don't need to. And so I'll just play a regular flush instead. So 
Sorry about the delay of game there. I dropped the uh, the mic cord fell out, uh, but we're back now. All right, we can take. Uh, we're in anti three now, and want to have a backup plan. We want to be able to beat the water boss. Uh, the ice cream is gonna melt on us. We're gonna get down to maybe only 50 chips. Droll Joker plus 10 molt is not that big of a bonus. And so, you know, if I want, you know, about two and a half scoring jokers, here's two halves. And maybe plus one gives me now two scoring jokers. All right, uh, Celestial Packs again. We're looking for more series cards. I'm okay spending my money and losing a little bit of interest because the series cards are worth it. If I can get there, I'll admit, if. All right, we're trying to win in one. We've got spades, let's look for spades. All right, tens, aces. Nines and sevens. So it's a flush. We've got the chips from the ice cream. Uh, we don't get the Fibonacci bonus. And so maybe it's worth it to discard one extra time trying to get better spades. Mmm, didn't really pan out. That's okay. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, 200, slightly less than 200. Two pair I don't think is going to do it, but I'm going to try anyway. If it doesn't do it, then I'm looking at, you know, winning in two anyway. Uh, it turns out that it does work. Cool. Mad Joker, not what we're into. Delayed gratification, we're already kind of full up here. And we are going into the water boss here soon. Celestial packs, prioritized. Save our money because I want to pick up this grabber. All right, what are we looking at here? Uh, five and ace, we can go ahead and play this flush. We're going to need two hands anyway, so might as well play it now. Looking for another opportunity to play another flush. We've got hearts or clubs, more hearts. Uh, our clubs, we have the two, our hearts, we have the three. Two and the three, that's very promising. Uh, we can go full house here, or Droll Joker makes this better. We have Earth for a regular full house uh, in an emergency situation. All right, with the ice cream fading on us, maybe it's time to uh, transition into, we'll pick up Todd here. That way we've got very solid, consistent scoring jokers. Uh, we do, since this is the end of the big blind, going into the boss, we wanna use the voucher. Looking again for my series planet cards, still getting somewhat unlucky, but we only want, you know, maybe four or five more, so there's still hope. And, hmm, we'll take the magi Magician. Let's see here, we could get Hearts as a flush. Let's try that. And I was expecting to play two hands, which it looks like is gonna be fine. Maybe I can play uh, aces and then threes as two pair. I forgot I was trying to use the magician there. It's not a big chance that you get the money, but it is a chance. 
fool is going to give us another series card and so you know i'm punished i was supposed to use the magician but since i didn't i can use the fool to get this series so actually maybe it worked out in the end uh, i'm going to sell the magician to make room i want to keep this planet card so that we can block earth from spawning all right so we'll use the series card and then now that we've passed, we've passed the boss, we can afford to go for more planet cards. All right, uh, spades, that was the one, I guess. How about these spades? How about that spade? How about we'll play the odd ones? Okay. All right, what do we got left in the tank? We've got clubs, potentially. One of them being the ace of clubs. Okay, looking promising. Two, three, four, six. Odd card in here. Yeah, maybe something like that. Let's see here. We I do want to get the crystal ball. We can take the crystal ball after the big blind. And then so maybe short term what we'll do is we'll go Arcana. Couple different options here. We've got $27 from the temperance because we've got the egg. We've got $20 from the hermit. Okay, without the egg, the temperance is only $10, and so we take the hermit instead. Now, since we're flush with cash, I can do really silly stuff like this. Get the crystal ball, save the Pluto, blocking the Pluto from spawning. Open up the spectral pack because spectral packs are always exciting maybe aura on the six of diamonds looking to turn that into spades later and i'll reroll one time all right now here we saw in the last round it was a little bit hard for us to get the score that we need uh, with two flushes we were barely able to do it and so now i have a little bit more pressure to let's finally play some flush houses and then see how much scoring potential we have. So tens and sevens, I believe that's what we're going for, tens and sevens. All right, not our last two cards, but if it were our last two cards, we do have an extra hand left to burn. And then with a flush house, one shotting with about 14,000, which means, okay, that's also enough to beat the boss if we need to, uh, depending on what kind of flush house we play. Pick up the ne Neptune for the block, uh, reroll, looking for another planet. Okay, we've got four planets. This will be something different from those four. And still no series. But we've got two. You know, maybe we'll get stay with two just like last time. And I think one of those came from a fool, didn't it? Okay, here, redemption opportunity. We have the priestess. And so maybe I can get rid of some of these planets. Spawn in two more. Still no series. Juggler to make it easier for us to make our flush house. It's already, uh, you know, deterministic. We already have the grabber, so we can guarantee that we get our flush house. Uh, here, this is just making it easier for us to get our flush house earlier. You get it earlier, you save hands, you get more money. You know how it works by now. Uh, Reroll, 
death card going to make it easier to make our flush house so let's go ahead and pick that up all right this could be a ten of spades let's throw away the low stuff first things that are not spades All right, we know this is an ace, and so maybe I'm incentivized to throw it away now that I know it's an ace. Ten of spades, that's what we wanna see. Ten of spades and seven of spades. So we can probably do this. Got the sevens. And let's make another 10 to balance it out 10s and 7s no help from Fibonacci we still get uh, 14,000 from that flush house celestial pack looking for more planet cards let's reroll first negative stencil Okay, in the past, you know, for our tutorial series, we've been passing on the rare jokers, you know, because I want to demonstrate how to win even without those. Uh, this time, fine, we'll do it. I'll do, you want me to do it, I'll do it. Uh, which means I don't need this droll joker, I don't need this Fibonacci, I don't need this odd Todd. As long as I get a series card, just like that series in the Celestial Pack. Empress as a backup if we want to add molt to our cards. Uh, let's open this Arcana pack. We are in anti-5 now, so we be a little bit liberal about spending our money. Lovers to make it easier for our flush house. Yeah, let's try that. So we're on 10s uh, er, and 7s. And so maybe I can make uh, this... Ten of hearts. There we go. All right. Looking for tens and sevens. We have the sevens. We have the tens. Uh, between these, we've got about the we've got more tens in the deck because we use a death card yeah let's do this let's make these into molt cards so we can see how much this is worth level three flush house that's only two planet cards unfortunately we're still able to one shot foil droll joker Okay, yeah, I feel bad about letting the Droll Joker go. It came back in foil. If I'm not able to get my series planet card, this gives me 30 chips and plus 10 molt. Fine, I'll take it. Celestial pack, jumbo this time. Pretty good chance of getting the series card. Arcana pack. Another suit changer. Okay, we've got the spades now. Uh, thus far, we've been surviving with just the one suit changer. And, you know, I'm trying to demonstrate here, uh, even with just the one suit changer, even with just the one flush house in the entire deck, still fine, no problem. Uh, but maybe uh, just as a backup, as a safety precaution, we could use the world. Uh, another seven would be nice. Um, and then we can even go for, let's see here, an eight and a six. All right, one more seven or 10. Just like that, weird looking uh, flush house. We saw before, 20,000, 27,000 this time with the bonus from the Droll Joker in foil. All right, with five flush houses, we get a plus five from Supernova. 
spectral pack. We can make another foil card, holographic card that's plus 10 malt. Love to see it. Uh, for this celestial pack here, I don't have so much money that I want to reroll first. But we do get the planet card. If we get one more, then we can see something really special. Sevens and tens again. These tens with those sevens. Thirty-one thousand. One shotting. You know, maybe even better if we do this. If we get the plus ten before we get the times two. Uh, let's see here. We got Cardomancer possibility. Uh, I do have the Jumbo Celestial Pack. Let's. The last card we used was a series card. Ice cream is very powerful. Let's open the Arcana Pack first. Arcana Pack Justice. If we go Justice, we can play tens and sixes. That'll be enough. Now we can one shot. And if we can one shot, now I don't need the ice cream. We got the series. Don't need these. Reroll just to take a peek. Another series card? Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Instead of the juggler here, we'll pick up the last series card. And then now with these last two jokers. Okay, it's not 100%, it's not guaranteed. Uh, I'm realizing now, you know, the series card is not as good as this Droll Joker with the foil. Um, we have to sell the Droll Joker. But we should be successful here. Let's look for our glass card. Sixes, sixes, that's what it was. Six of spades. There we go, we got the sixes, we got the tens. Uh, for the sake of argument here, if I discard, discard again, discard again, discard again, discard one more time, All right, so we would be able to get through most of our deck, seven cards left, because we were holding on to five. Uh, if we were holding on to four, we'd probably get down to, you know, three or four cards left in deck. So we got kind of lucky. We drew the hand that we wanted kind of early, but even if we didn't, we would be totally fine. Uh, and then this, we'll just watch the big number go. 95,000, easy one shot. Without the stencil, it would be, you know, slightly under 50,000. You could still win with two flush houses, no problem. And so maybe there I've made a case for two series cards. Maybe that's not where we want to be. But when we get to five series cards, which is not that much more than two, then now we're able to do stuff like this, one-shotting the boss.